Isotope has just released a version 4 of their Neutron plugin and they've given me early access so let's take a look. All right, so the last version that I've taken a look at from Neutron was Neutron 2, as far as I can remember. Uh, what Neutron basically is, is their mix assistant. And let me quickly show you how that works. I can't look at the website and that kind of stuff because I have early access to the plugin. So we're diving into it immediately. So again, Neutron is a mix assistant and it works in two ways. So we've got our assistant over here and we've got our more detailed look over here. And I am a huge fan of plugins that work that way. Uh, for instance, the Focusrite fast bundle works in the same way you have a simple overview a more musical overview to say it like that and you have a technical overview and they are very much linked together so the best way to use this plugin is by uh, using the assistant i've got a few group channels over here um, just for this demo and i've got this instance on the drums so uh, let's press play and of course you all know the name of the track it has something to do with a with a dust wind or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, we need to wait for a little bit. And there it is. There it is. It detected that uh, we've got drums. It has a certain uh, tonal curve for drums built in, and uh, it will try to match uh, the EQ of the drums uh, to that tonal curve. And we can say like, how much do we want to match this? That's how it works. I think, I think we're already pretty close in that curve. So we can also um, change the punch, a distortion, no, distort, distortion, and width. Let's first do punch. Kind of a transient designer, I think. Something like that. It's not really a transient designer, but it has something to do with that. Same goes with distortion. So we can choose our style. We can go extreme as well if we want. So really nice way to quickly set a sound because that is what this is for just quickly setting your mix so that you can move on probably with production one issue with that is that there is some latency in this plugin so really using it in a production environment can be difficult however uh, this is like the easy way like quickly setting up a mix quickly creating a sound um, that's really what this is made for and from there and that's the cool thing of this plugin you can go into detail you can get all the controls that you want. It shows you the chain that it made over here. So it uses a sculptor. It uses an EQ. We can change the EQ in here. It uses a compressor. And it uses an exciter in here. Now, one of the new features that is in here, um, because I've been briefed, <laughs> is uh, the trash. So we can go way more extreme in the exciter. And I think that's actually also what this button is for because it looks the same as this. Like, like look like classic trash and classic trash. It's the same thing. Another feature in the Neutron 4 is the unmask feature. And um, um, this really is an advanced sidechain compressor. So basically what it does is it accepts a sidechain signal, which is by the way weird because all Neutron 4 instances are connected to each other. But for this to work, you really have to root a sidechain. I was actually expecting that I could just select a different instance. Like I've got this on the base and I wanted to just select the drums, but apparently that's not possible or maybe not yet possible. But, but look at what it is doing. It is basically kind of inverting the drums uh, on this bass line. And if we now mute the drums here, you can really hear where it is cutting everything out so with normal sidechain you would be cutting out the full spectrum but with this we're just cutting out like full range sidechain is more more like an effect while this is more a a blend thing 
whatever. So the last thing that I want to show, which I think is pretty cool in Neutron, is the visual mixer. And it's this thing. And what I can do in here, I only have four stems, but I can basically place every instrument or every stem in this case in the mix where I want to have it. So let's put this uh, all over here and show this with the drums. Like I've got the drums up front now. I can also place them on the right or lower in volume, higher in volume. I can do the same with the Vogue, bass, instruments, everything. And I think that this interface, this way of thinking about a mix, I think it works visually way better than we're normally doing for the last 80 years or something with just faders. However, if you get a lot of uh, instruments in here, it gets pretty messy. So that's that's something we haven't figured out as humans. But I actually do think that this could be a whole new way of, of mixing uh, music by, by making it more visual, by making sure that you can place things a bit better. What I would actually like to have is like some maybe VR, because if, if we would use glass panels, it would not be good for the acoustics, but that you can really grab a sound and put it somewhere in your mix. That would be even nicer, but I think we are at least five years away from that, maybe even longer, who knows. So that's basically everything that I wanted to show about the new Neutron. I'll link to Isotope in the description down below. What I basically think of Neutron, and I already thought this a little bit about Neutron 2, but Neutron 4 is really, it has gotten a lot better. And I really think that there is a huge market out there for people that need this product. There are so many steps in producing music and so many steps where you don't really want to dive into the mixing and sit, I don't know, for hours on a mix where it is actually needed. Like just making a mix after you've recorded something, making a mix so you can take it home and listen to the track a few times. Using something like this, like raises the production value by a lot. Like literally, like, like it's so much, so much better what you're going to hear. And it will take like 15 minutes maximum to set up a whole mix using this. So that's really cool. And from there, you can use this as your template. If you want to uh, mix completely in the box, you can simply just, you know, go onto the more advanced ta tab and from there really sculpt your mix. Or you can start over, of course. But I really like the combination of having an easy way and an advanced way to do things. I think with a lot of those one knob plugins, I would love to have an extra tab to like go to the advanced mode and do my own thing because most of the snake oily plugins who have like a one knob that makes everything sound better i usually either get confused or want a little bit of a different sound and that is really not possible with those plugins while with neutron like it's super super advanced so yeah that's what i think of uh, of neutron i don't know what it costs but uh, yeah check it out on the website from isotope it's uh, linked in the description down below and after you tried it come back to this video and let me know in the comments what you think and also say snake oil or no snake oil because that would be nice let the community decide what it is. So for the disclosure, I am in contact with Isotope. Actually, Isotope is one of the first companies that ever reached out uh, to me back in the days when I still had like 100 subscribers or something. So I'm in contact with Isotope and they are sending me uh, the software to check out just before the release so that I can have a video ready close to the release or on release day. I don't know when I'm publishing this video actually. But anyway, I'm a, I am in contact. Um, they have no influence in my opinion and uh, they're not paying me or, or anything. And I believe that I'm not being limited in my opinion uh, or my freedom or what whatsoever. So if you appreciate that, make sure to support me. Uh, you can do that by using the affiliate links, uh, these two. This one is for Toman and this one is for Sweetwater. Uh, you could also use whitestudio.com slash Toman and whitestudio.com studio.com slash sweetwater and if you use these links and then buy something in one of these shops a little bit of your purchase gets kicked back to me so you are buying gear you're not paying anything extra and you're helping me in the process i mean what's better than that another way to support me is by becoming a channel member you can do that on youtube by pressing the join button or you can do that on patreon they're both the same thing so whatever you like to do patreon or youtube uh, it's all good for me and you're getting the same content last way to support me and the whole youtube platform is by watching more videos i'll link one of my videos over here but you're free to watch other creators as well thanks a lot for watching keep pushing don't forget to subscribe and that kind of stuff and bye bye